Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to solve one very very interesting and challenging question from Math Olympiad system of equations. We have to evaluate 1 minus x times 1 minus y times 1 minus z whole square given that x, y, z belongs to positive real numbers. So let's get started by writing here equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Required expression is E. Now we are going to use our substitution straight away. Let us say x equal to 2 sin square alpha y equal to 2 sin square beta z equal to 2 times sin square gamma. Now we are going to plug in x, y, z values in equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So let me begin with equation 1. A square root of 2x minus x, y. So x is 2 sin square alpha. 2 times 2 sin square alpha is 4 sin square alpha minus x y so 2 times 2 is 4 sin square alpha sin square beta plus a square root of 2 y so 2 times 2 sin square beta we can write 4 sin square beta minus 4 sin square alpha sin square beta equal to 1. Now from this square root 4 sin square alpha is common. From this square root 4 sin square beta is common. It will come out as 2 sin alpha times 1 minus sin square beta plus 4 sin square beta is common. It will come out as 2 sin beta times square root 1 minus sin square alpha. RHS is 1. Now 1 minus sin square beta. This is cos square beta. Square root of cos square beta will give us cos beta. So 2 sin alpha cos beta plus 2 sin beta 1 minus sin square alpha is cos square alpha. Square root cos square alpha is cos alpha equal to 1. Now we will take 2 common out. So we will write here 2 times in the bracket sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta equal to 1. Now we know that sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. This is sin a plus b. So sin alpha plus beta equal to 1. Now we have to divide both sides by 2. So 2 over 2 is 1. We will write sin alpha plus beta. This will be equal to 1 over 2 which is sin pi over 6 sin 30. So alpha plus beta will be pi over 6 the principal solution. Let us say this is our equation number 4. Now we are going to put x, y, z in our equation 2. So let me write our equation number 2 here. Here it is. Now we have to plug in x, y, z value as per our substitution. We will get. Now we will take 4 sin square beta common from first square root and 4 sin square gamma common from second square root, we are going to write 2 sin beta square root of 1 minus sin square gamma plus, we will write here 2 sin gamma square root of 1 minus sin square beta equal to square root 2. Now 1 minus sin square gamma is cos square gamma. So we will be writing 2 sin beta 
cos gamma. Let me write here two sine beta cos gamma plus two sine gamma cos beta. This will be equal to a square root of two. Now two is common. We will write here sine beta cos gamma plus sin gamma cos beta equal to square root 2. Again, we will divide both sides by 2. So, 2 over 2 is 1. And here we will use trig identity sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. We will be writing here sin beta plus gamma. This will be equal to square root of 2 over square root 2 times square root 2 value will be 1 over root 2. Now this is equal to sin pi over 4. So we can get our equation number 5 beta plus gamma equal to pi over 4. In the same way if we will consider our third equation we will be getting gamma plus alpha equal to pi over 3. I am writing directly the same way we will solve and get our equation number 6 gamma plus alpha equal to pi over 3. Now I will add 4, 5 and 6. Let me write here 4 plus 5 plus 6. We are going to get 2 times alpha plus beta plus gamma will be equal to pi over 6 plus pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Now we have to take LCM. We will write 12 here. So 2 pi plus 3 pi plus 4 pi. We can write here 9 pi over 12. So we will be writing here 3 pi over 4. This is equal to 2 times alpha plus beta plus gamma. Now we will divide both sides by 2 to get the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma. This will be equal to 3 pi over 8. And here we will write our equation number 7. 6 was there. This is equation number 7. Now we will find out alpha by subtracting equation 5 from equation 7. So let me write here 7 minus 5. So I will write here alpha plus beta plus gamma which is our equation number 7. Value is 3 pi over 8. And equation number 5 was beta plus gamma equal to pi over 4. Now we will subtract fifth equation from seventh equation. We are going to get alpha value. Value will be equal to 3 pi over 8 minus pi over 4. So we are going to get pi over 8. This is alpha pi over 8. Now we will perform 7 minus 6 we are going to get beta. Value will be equal to 3 pi over 8 minus pi over 3. Value will be pi over 24. This is the value of beta. Now we will perform 7 minus 4. We are going to get gamma value. Value will be 3 pi over 8 minus pi over 6. So I can write here value will be equal to 9 pi minus 4 pi value will be 5 pi over 24. So here we have gamma. Now we have to evaluate this required expression. So I will write here E equal to 1 minus x whole square times 1 minus y whole square times 1 minus z 
whole square. Let us calculate 1 minus x whole square first. So 1 minus x is 2 sin square alpha whole square. 1 minus y whole square. Here we will be writing 1 minus 2 sin square beta whole square. Similarly, 1 minus z would be 1 minus 2 sin square gamma whole square. Now, this is cosine double angle formula. So, we can write this is equal to cos 2 alpha whole square. Here, we will be writing cos 2 beta whole square and here we can write cos 2 gamma whole square. Now alpha beta gamma is known value. So let me write here cos 2 alpha. We will write alpha pi over 8. So 2 times pi over 8 whole square. Beta was pi over 24. So we will write 2 times pi over 24 whole square. Gamma was 5 pi over 24. We will write cos 2 times 5 pi over 24 whole square. Now we will simplify. We will get cos 2 and 8 will be over. We will get 4 in the denominator whole square. Here we will be writing cos pi over 12 whole square. And here we can write cos 5 pi over 12 whole square. Now cos pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. So square of 1 over root 2 will be half. Let me write here 1 over root 2 whole square. And here we will write cos pi over 12 times cos 5 pi over 12 and then we will put whole power 2. Now we will multiply by 2 in the bracket. So I am multiplying by 4 in the numerator and denominator. We will get, let me write here. Here I have multiplied and divided by 4. So 2 square is here in the numerator and so 4 in the denominator. Now we can apply 2 cos A cos B formula here which is cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. So I will write here 1 over 8 in the bracket. I will write cos 5 pi over 12 plus pi over 12. This is cos A plus B plus cos a minus b. So I will be writing 5 pi over 12 minus pi over 12. And then we have whole square. Now we have to simplify 6 pi over 12. I can write here pi over 2 in the bracket. Then we have plus cos 4 pi over 12. So I can write pi over 3 we have 1 power 2. Now we will be putting value 1 over 8. Cos 90 is 0 plus cos pi over 3. This is 1 over 2. Then we will put power 2. So I can write here 1 over 8 times 1 over 2 whole square which is 1 over 4. So we are going to get our final answer 1 over 32. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.